Hello, good morning, good evening to all you beautiful people from across the globe. How are you all? The thought for the day. Everything happens for a reason. I would prefer to term it as everything happens for our highest good. But let it suffice to say that there is a reason behind every event or occurrence in our lives. Reason here is the meaning we give to the happenings that we come across in our daily lives. Whatever happens and your reaction to the occurrence is constantly creating the person you are becoming. As a human being, you have been gifted with a capacity to create meaning from all these events. You are not a robot, nor a random element. You are a beautiful personality by yourself. Each event gives you the power to create meaning from it and start making life work for you rather than work against you. Believing that everything happens for a reason empowers you to turn your setbacks into opportunities for the future. The story is told of a king in Africa who had a close friend with whom he grew up. The friend had a habit of looking at every situation that occurred in his life, whether it be positive or negative, and remarking, This is good. One day the king and his friend were out on a hunting expedition. The friend would load and prepare the guns for the king. The friend had apparently done something wrong in preparing one of the guns. After taking the gun from his friend, the king fired it and his thumb was blown off. Examining the situation, the friend remarked as usual, This is good. To which the king replied angrily, No, this is not good and immediately sent his friend to jail. About a year later, the king was hunting in an area that he should have known to avoid. Cannibals captured him and took him to their village. They tied his hands, stacked some wood, set up a stake and bound him to the stake. As they came close to set fire to the wood, they noticed that the king was missing a thumb. Being superstitious cannibals, they never ate anyone that was less than whole. So the cannibals untied the king and sent him on his way. As he returned home, he was reminded of that incident that had blown off his thumb and felt sadness for his treatment of his friend. The king went immediately to the jail to speak with his friend. You were right, he said. It was good that my thumb was blown off. And he proceeded to tell his friend all that had just happened. And so, I am very sorry for sending you to jail for so long. It was bad for me to do that. No, his friend replied, this is good. What do you mean this is good, said the king. How could it be good that I sent my friend to jail for a year? Well, if I had not been in jail, I would have been with you. And the cannibals would have eaten me whole, said his friend. You see, the hidden meaning and the blessing that lies in an untoward situation like this. Most of the time it is we who fail to see the shimmer of goodness in anything that we are faced with. Grow out from every adversity in your life and heal well with this coping and survival mechanism that everything works for your own highest good. On that note, this is Geeta signing off from IamMariamHere.com wishing you see life on a bigger canvas and use all these insights to empower your best self. Take care, bye-bye and a big God bless.